In today's news for you, heart disease, the number one killer. What's new in treating patients? Dr. Norma Curry is a cardiologist with the South Carolina Heart Center. You just returned from Washington, D.C., Norma, and got some new information on something. You got knickknacks, too. I have a little pen for you. Oh, aren't you sweet? Because I was sweet. up there. It's the 10th anniversary of the Thank Go you. Red campaign yep. that awesome. was started by the National Heart, Lung, and Blood Institute in association with the American Heart Association 10 years ago yeah. to increase the awareness of heart disease in women. The reason that's so important, it still kills about 500,000 women a year. Amazing. Yeah. Especially when so much of it could be prevented. It, and one area of interest that, that you guys talked about in Washington is that your focus is really on women right now, an extra focus on 40 to 60 year old women. Why that particular age group? That is an age group that often is still seen by the OBGYN. So really treating anyone's health, whether it's men or women, is a collaborative approach. Mm -hmm. And so, so many of these women are seen in the OBGYN offices. We want to increase awareness there. So when they come in and they're getting screened to check their cholesterol, ask them about their risk factors. Women who are particularly at risk are those who have diabetes during pregnancy or hypertension. That increases their risk in the future. We don't want, we want to prevent it. Mm -hmm. So you identify them early, you treat them early, you make them aware they're at risk. And for those women who are, are past that age of 40 or even the age of 60, explain to them some of the changes they could make and if it would have an impact on changing their heart health. Like if they've been on a bad road, is it too late? It's really most of the time it's never too late, particularly if you're inactive, particularly if you smoke. Those are the two things you can definitely do something about. Stopping smoking is the most important thing that you can do. If you're inactive, if your body mass index is high, you can lose some weight. It's never too late to do any of those. It's always good to control your blood pressure. That's very important. And your cholesterol. And um, I mentioned to you um, earlier too, there's something called a million hearts. It's a new government initiative and what they're hoping to do over the next five years is save a million hearts. Mm -hmm. And two of the things they're looking at primarily is high blood pressure because we know they're about 50% of our population have high blood pressure. That's one of the big risk factors for heart disease. That is not well controlled. And the other one is smoking. Mm -hmm. and, I've got to wrap you here. One one thing that women I know there's <laughs> only so much to tell, isn't there? One thing that women can do is be involved in exercise. And one event that Providence Hospital and WIS co-sponsor comes up April 27th, our annual Providence Heart and Soul. It's a five mile run and five and three mile walks. And opening ceremonies are at eight. All the details are on the Big Red Ten. And Dr. Curry's also given me some links that I'm going to put on the website as well. But if you'd like to talk to the doctor, log on to our website right now, the News at Four page, and Dr. Curry can take your questions. As always, thank you so thank much. Thank you so much, Connie.